Olama has just come up with Olama Cloud. You can see the link for Cloud here. And they're saying that cloud models are now available in Olama. If I click on cloud, the cloud is in cloud preview and we can run large models faster using Olama's cloud. And the advantages is that speed up model inference. We can run large models and there's also privacy there. And we also save battery life because we are not running a heavy model on your laptop. And if we click on cloud models, the cloud models are now in preview, letting you run large models with fast data center grade hardware you can keep using your local tools while running large models that wouldn't fit on a personal computer it's the same olama experience is now seamless across both local and in the cloud integrated with the existing tools you already use so these are the four models that are currently available we have the quen model we have the two gpt oss models and we have the deep seek model that are currently available in the cloud so let's go ahead and see how we can get started with this one. Previously, whenever we wanted to run any model, what we do is we go on the models, we choose the model, let's say it's GPT OSS. And under that, we run this command Olama run GPT OSS, for example, 20 billion. This command pulls the model locally and runs the model locally. Now we want to run it in the cloud. So the command for that is GPT OSS 20B hyphen cloud. But before we do that, we need to upgrade Olama. So if we go under the GitHub repository, under Mac, click on download. Or if you're on Linux, you could do curl install.sh, install the latest version. So for me, it's downloaded the DMG file. So I'm just gonna install the latest version of Olama. So if I open that, I just have to drag and drop into the applications. I will have to replace it. I've got the latest version of Olama on my machine. So if I now check the Olama version, the version that I've got on the Mac is 0.12. Previously, it was 0.9. Now that we have the latest version of Olama, we should be able to run, say, the GPT OSS model. So if we want to run any cloud model, I would just say the model hyphen cloud, and I should be able to run the model on the cloud. But running any model on the cloud needs login. Like they have mentioned here, Olama's cloud models require an account on olama.com to sign in or create an account run Olama sign in. So if I run Olama sign in, then it's asking me to navigate to this link and I'm going to log in with my credentials. So I've logged in as AI Bytes. Now, if I go on the top right settings, go to keys and I should be able to add an API key. Let me just do that. I'm going to call AI Bytes and I'm just going to generate api key so i can use this one to do anything on the cloud let's try to run the cloud model now it's asking me to sign in so i'm just going to click on this link go to sign in and it says connect a device the macbook with ai bytes the device is will be paired with your account so i'm just going to click on connect device connected successfully so if i now try to run it again we're getting a response i'm just a bundle of code so i don't have feelings in the way you do but i'm running smoothly and ready to help so that was running the model on the cloud we also have the option to run using python so let's see how we can run a simple python client so to run it with python i've created this directory olama demo and i'm going to now create a conda environment conda create minus n olama demo python let's say 3.12 and I'm going to activate the conda environment we just created. Now that it's activated, I'm just going to create a file, say demo.py. So we need to install Olama as well. So I'm just going to do pip install Olama. So it says installing collected packages and there's Olama there. And we can see that it successfully installed everything. So I'm just going to clear the screen and I'm going to start editing the demo.py we just created. Over here, if I just say from Olama, import client and if i create a client which is client of host is olama.com and the headers is authorization that's my api key which i will be deleting before publishing this video so once we create the client we need to create the messages which is going to be the role is user and the content is why is the sky blue and we get the response so we're going to print part of the response i'm just going to say for part and client dot chat we're going to choose the gpt oss 120 billion parameter model and we can say messages is the messages we have created and stream is true which is going to stream the message and we're just going to print the response that you get which is part of the message of content 
and it's nothing and flush is true so let's run this and see what happens so i've now come back to the terminal i'm just going to run this demo.py file i'm just going to say python demo.py and we can see that it's asking the question and it's getting the response the sky looks blue because of phenomenon called Rayleigh scattering and we're getting the response from the gpt oss 120 billion parameter models so that was by using the olama client the a different way in which we could do is we could straight away pull the model to the cloud itself for example in the terminal i can say olama pull the model hyphen cloud so if you run that it's pulling the model and it's now available in the cloud so let's try to use this model in python Python. To, to now use it in Python, I can say import olama and olama.chat and provide the model, which is the GPT OSS 20 billion cloud. And again, I give the same question and I print the content from the response. Let's see what this one gives. So if I now run python demo.py, we can see that we're getting the same response. The sky looks blue because of the way its atmosphere scatters light and we're getting the response again. So this is another way of using any model in the cloud using Olama in Python rather than pulling it locally. So with Olama, we can now run things on cloud. Even though it's on preview, I'm sure this is going to blow up. And we also need to note that there's a subscription fee of $20 per month if you want to run a large model faster. So with that, I'm signing off and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.